So at the end of the discussion, you students will be able to uh, demonstrate understanding of the fundamental hardware components that make up a computer's hardware and the role of each of these uh, components. Then demonstrate understanding of the difference between an operating system and an application program, program and what each is used for in a computer. Then explain the fundamental concept of a computer hardware and software and acquire the foundation level knowledge required to understand computer and its operation. So for today's uh, meeting, we have uh, Jasmine Rose Rioveros and Nancy Baraguya. So this subject uh, was just loaded to me uh, this week. Kaya ngayon lang again ako nakapag-klase. Uh, nakapag so uh, this would be our first meeting. So the topic is about computer application. Okay, so let's begin with the information processing system. So the information processing system consists of the data, information, data processing, and the computer. So data, that is a collection of independent and unorganized uh, facts. These are the raw facts. Example is your USN, your first name, your age, your birthdays, uh, birth date. So all of those are what we call the data. So when it is processed, the data has been processed, it would become information. So information that is the process and organized data presented in presented in a meaningful uh, form. Yeah, so information that is the uh, information. Then data processing that is the course of doing things in a sequence of steps. So that is a step by step procedure or process. And then we have the computer. So computer that is an electronic machine that follows a set of instructions in order that it may be able to accept and gather data and transform, uh, transform this into meaningful information. So they are the one who process the input, the output. It will also store data. So that is computer. So this is the... Uh, data processing system and the information so data so this is the raw data it will uh, be processed through computer so through processing system and it will turn into information so this is the uh, information yeah. Then we have different functions of an information processing system. The first one is to in, uh, accept and gather data. So that is the input. And then it processes data to become information. So all the gathered data, all the inputs will be processed. So that is the steps in processing. And then after that, it will be stores or it stores data and information. Then it, you can also pre present the information through the output. So we have the input, process, store, and output. So that is the information processing system. So we have basic units of measurement. We have the bit and the byte. So for the bit, that is a unit of information equivalent to the result of a choice between only two possible alternatives in the binary number system. So we have, uh, for the bit, we have 0 and 1. Yeah, so yung binary, it only accepts 0 and 1. Then we have the byte. It is a sequence of 8 bits and have to represent one character of alphanumeric data. So processed as a single unit for information. So it accepts 8 bits. So it can be 1 or 0. So in your representation, yeah. Pag, pag, uh, pag byte yan, walong uh, combination ng bit. Walong combination ng 1 and 0 to make it a byte. So a byte can be used to represent a single character, which can be a letter, a number, 
a special character or symbol or even a space. So, gumagay tayo ng byte to represent each characters, each alphanumeric characters in a computer. So, paano ba niya i-display? Of course, it will be processed through the processing system. So, here is the basic PC hardware. So, this is the hardware. All of these are hardware. It is the tangible part of a computer system. So as you can see, we have the speaker, the system unit, the screen, the monitor, we have also the microphone, mouse, and keyboard. So all of them are called the hardware. So basic hardware of PC system, it has a central processing unit, it has a memory unit, input devices, output devices, and secondary storage devices. So for the central processing unit, it is uh, known as the brain of the computer. So ito yung nagdi-decide, siya yung uh, nag -iisip. So siya yung central processing unit. Ganito lang siya kaliit. So yan lang yan. So it directs and controls the entire computer system and performs all arithmetic and the logical operations. Then we have the memory. So memory unit where the programs and data are stored. So we have two types. We read only memory. Then we have the random access memory. So the first one, it contains the pre-programmed computer instruction such as the basic input output system while the other one the random access memory or ram is used to store the data uh, the programs and data that you will run so yung niraran mo nakabase siya dun sa sa ram so if there is no power it will not exist so this is a non volatile memory then for the input devices so allows data and program to be sent to the CPU. We have the keyboard, the mouse, joystick, a microphone. We have also the webcam, a scanner, and even monitor. Because monitor now, we have uh, the touch screen. So considered na rin siyang input device as well as output device. So there are two types of mouse. We have the mechanical and the optical. So mechanical, that is a type of computer mouse that has a rubber or metal ball on its underside and it can roll in every direction. So to locate your mouse cursor, you have to move it using the, uh, the mouse or the metal ball underside. And then we have the optical. This type uses a laser for detecting the mouse movement. So, ang ginagamit naman ng optical is a laser. Yeah, so to detect the mouse movement. Then, how a mouse hooks, hooks up to a PC? So, paano ba i-connect ang mouse sa PC? So, we have different uh, types of uh, mouse. We have the PS2. So this one is the PS2, yan yung PS2 natin, PS2 type, my, uh, type mouse. And then we have, we have also serial mouse, so this is the serial mouse. And yung pinaka latest na yun, we have the USB or the wireless mouse. Yan. Wala dito, pero pwede yung ma-check kung gumagahit kayo ng computer, yun yung... Uh, rectangle na maliit. So, yun yung USB type na mouse. Then, I have also other pointing devices. We have the trackball. So, this is the trackball. We have also the track point. So, track point usually, ito yung mga naka-install naka na siya sa mga laptop. May mga ganyan na track point. Then, we have also touchpad. And then, the touch screen. So, that is pointing devices. Then for the joystick, this is also input device for uh, use for computer games. We have also the light pens. Uh, this is a light sensitive pen like device. And we have also the stylus. So this is the stylus. Yeah, so it's also pen like device commonly used with tablet, PCs, and PDAs. Yeah. And then we have also the scanning devices. So scanning devices. Examples, we have the optical scanners, the card readers, 
the barcode readers, the character and mark uh, recognition. Yan. So, yung character and mark recognition yung mga ginagamit nila sa bank. Kasi di ba parang yung, yung mga parang hidden hidden character, hindi natin siya nare-read uh, with our two eyes. But using the device, we can read what we are, what is the, the meaning of the, uh, those code. Yan. So, ang, mga ta ang tawag doon sa mga devices na yun is scanning devices. And then we have also the output devices. So that is media used by the computer in displaying its resp responses to our requests and instructions. It can also be the uh, monitor, the audio speakers, and also the printers. So yun yung mga output devices. So we have uh, two types of monitor. We have the cathode ray tube. So the cathode ray tube, wala na masyadong mahitang ganito. But you can see this one in the in the bank. They are still using this, uh, this uh, monitor, cathode ray. Then we have also the liquid crystal display or the LCD type monitor. So this is the LCD type monitor. Then for the printers, we have uh, two types. We have the impact printers. It uses pressure by physically striking the paper. So pag magpiprint ka, medyo bumabakat siya. Kaya siya tinawag na impact. Example, we have the daisy wheel printers. We have also the line printers. The dark matrix printers are the best example. And of course, the band printers. So those are the impact printers. Okay. Then we have the non-impact printers. So for the non-impact printers, it does not apply pressure on the paper, but instead it produces character by using the lasers, the ink, uh, ink spray, or through heat, yung heat. Um, ayan. So kaya siya tinawag na non-impact. Hindi siya bumabakat sa papel. Hindi siya ganun ka pressurized to print. So here is the dot matrix. So yan yung dot matrix. We have the laser printer. We have also the inkjet printer. Yan. Then is secondary storage devices. So these are the uh, devices that are attached to the computer system to allow you to store programs and data permanently for the purpose of retrieving them for future use. So, ginagamit naman ito para ma-retrieve mo or ma-open mo yung mga sinave mo file. Ayan. So, we have the floppy disk, the hard disk, and even CD-ROM. So, floppy disk, this is the, uh, ewan po kung naabutan nyo pa to, the most common secondary storage device. It is a uh, 3.5 inches, yan yung size niya. And it, uh, the capacity is 1.44 MB. So, imagine, hindi ka pwedeng mag-save ng movie, ng Korean movie, gamit ang, uh, ang floppy disk noon. Pero ngayon, di ba, mas maliit yung size, pero mas malaki yung capacity. We have the uh, flash drive. And we have also the high capacity floppy disk. So this uh, one is the floppy disk uh, cartridges. So this is 3.5 inches in diameter. And it stores more information. It is called the zip disk. So hard disk or uh, hard disk drive or the hard disk. So I think they're talking about hard disk. It is made of rigid materials unlike the floppy disk. So, mas matibay ito compared with the floppy disk. And it also holds a greater amount of data compared with the floppy disk. Then, we have the optical disk. So, optical disk is a standard part of modern desktop machines, especially used for multimedia purposes and preferred in loading uh, applications. Yeah. So this is the optical yeah. disc, an example of optical disc. So we have different kinds of optical disc. We have the Blu-ray disc, the digital versatile disc, or the DVD, and we have also the compact disc. Yeah. So magkakaiba sila, magkakaiba rin sila ng capacity. So yung compact disc, uh, meron siyang two types. 
it is a right once and rewritable. Yung isa kasi, pag nag-write ka na doon, hindi mo na siya pwede i-overwrite. Kung pangalawa naman, rewritable, pwede mo pa siyang i-overwrite. So, once lang yung isa. Then, same with the DVD. So, the DVD also have uh, write once and rewritable. Then, we have also single layer and the double layer. Then, for the blu ray disc, it has a larger capacity, which is the 40 gig. Ayan. So, those are the kinds of the optical discs. Yeah, so we have the CD ROM, the CD writer, the DVD combo, and the DVD uh, writer. And of course, for you to use those, uh, the, for you to use the optical disc, you need the driver. Driver para marid niya yung, uh, yung content ng optical disc. Kailangan mo ng DVD driver. Yeah. Then, ganun ka ka komplikado ngayon. Unlike ngayon na uh, madali na lang. Okay, so other secondary devices or storage, we have the solid solid state storage. This one is uh, no moving parts. We have the flash memory cards and the USB flash drives. Yeah, so this is the uh, flash memory cards and we have this uh, the flash drives. Yeah, USB port kasi yung pagsasakan, pagsasaksakan, kaya USB. Ang tawag sa akin. Pero, uh, hindi talaga siya, USB kasi yung port, yung flash drive, that is the device. That is the sto storage device. So, it should be flash drive. Then, parts that build up a compute a system unit. Yeah, so, uh, it has a casing or cover. It has a power supply, the motherboard, the microprocessor, the memory, the video, uh, video card, the sound card, the floppy hard drive, the hard disk, the cd drive, and the modem. So for the memory, um, I am for the microprocessor, other term for the microprocessor is CPU. Pero ang usual kasi na nababanggit, pag uh, system unit ang pinag-uusapan, tinatawag nilang CPU yung system unit. It should be system unit because system part lang ng system unit yung microprocessor or yung CPU. Okay, so for the casing or cover, so the box or outer shell that houses most of the computer, it is usually one of the most overlooked parts of the PC. So protect the it also protects the computer circuits, it cools uh, the system uh, organization. Then, power supply. So, the power supply is responsible for powering every device in your computer. So, para gumana yung lahat ng parts na ilalagay mo, lahat ng peripheral na ilalagay mo, kailangan ng power supply. So, we have parts of power supply. We have the disk drive connectors, the motherboard connector, the power supply fan. We have also the power switch, the input input voltage selector, we have also the cover, and the power plugs are receptacle. So motherboard. Motherboard, this is a physical arrangement in a computer that contains the computer's basic circuitry and components. So the components are the microprocessor, we have the coprocessors, we have also the memory, the basic input output system or the BIOS. We have also the expansion slot. Expansion slot, if you wish to add more memories, you can use the expansion slot. And then we have also the interconnecting circuit three. So that is the motherboard. So this is the actual picture of the motherboard. So, ayan. Ito yung motherboard natin. So, ganun ka-powerful. Then, we have also the software. So, software uh, instructions that tell the computer how to process data into the form you want to. So, kung gusto mong uh, mag-edit mag ng pictures, ng images, of course, you need the software. So, software and programs are interchangeable. So there are two major uh, types. We have the system software and the application software. 
So, ano ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? So, for the first one, system software, it enables the application software to interact with the computer hardware. So, yung functionality ng mismong device, so pag-process niya ng input, pag-turn on, pag-install pag ka ng ng application na uh, software ng MS Word, ganyan. Bakit siya nag-run? Because of the system software. Kasi you cannot, uh, you cannot install the application software without the system software. Example of system software uh, is the, uh, the best example is the operating system. So, lahat ng Windows version ng operating system is uh, a system software. Then, utilities perform a specific tasks related to managing computer resources. Then, uh, functions of system software, it manages our resources, the memory, the processing storage, and devices like the printer, and providing a user interface and a running applications. The other type is the application software. It provides the real functionality of a computer. So, para mas ma-appreciate mo ang oh. computer, kailangan mo ng application software. It helps you use your computer to do specific types of work. So, para makapag-create uh, ka ng different types of work. So, basic applications widely used in all career areas. Specialized applications more narrowly focus on specific disciplines and occupations. So, example of application software, we have the Microsoft Office, we have also the Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, we have also the uh, yeah, editing uh, editing video software. So, those are application software. 